If your sales aren't where you'd like them to be right now, then you're gonna really love this tip. So one of the things you wanna look at when your sales aren't where you want them to be is how you're spending your time. So look at the last month and think, what are the activities that I've been doing in my business? So interestingly, I find that in sometimes in the beginning of your business especially, um, you can be up and down in sales like this. It's sort of like a roller coaster. And the reason that tends to happen is because people are marketing, they get clients, things are good, but while they're getting clients, they get kind of busy, they don't do as much marketing and sales, and then when they their clients start to finish with them, they're like, oh, I need more clients, and then they go into a drought because they hadn't been marketing consistently and selling. And so the thing that you want to do is break that cycle, right? Break that habit and make sure that you're consistently marketing and selling all the time. And the reason why this is an interesting topic at this point in time as well is because right now here in Canada, it's tax time. And so tax time can bring about a lot more work for an entrepreneur, especially around that time, if you haven't been keeping up with your taxes. And it can be dangerous because you end up spending a lot of time working on that one activity. And it's not that getting your taxes, for example, aren't important or even fulfilling client needs or whatever the other activities are um, that are not necessarily directly money-making activities. Um, they still need to get done. So as the business owner, you need to look at how am I utilizing your my time and what can I do to make sure that I am scheduling in and following through on the marketing and sales activities that are going to be necessary for me to keep my sales up? So if your sales are down, look at how you're using your time and make sure you have enough marketing and sales activities going on that you're getting in front of new people, adding value, and you are asking for the sale. Because sometimes it's as simple as not asking for the sale enough. And if you need help asking for the sale, be sure to download my 16 ways to get discovery calls, which will give you 16 ideas on how you can ask for the sale. Yes. All right. So that's it for today. Leave a comment. Let me know if this has helped you or resonated with you, or if you've ever found yourself in this roller coaster cycle of sales. Thanks so much. I'm Jennifer Trask, and I'll see you next time.